Hi, in this video, we are going to learn how to install Java on your Ubuntu system. And after installing Java, we will see how you can update your alternatives and finally how you can set up your Java home environment variable. Let's roll the intro and then get started. Alright, so to install Java, let's open your favorite browser and simply search Java JDK. And you will probably see the first link from oracle.com. I will ping this link in the description box so that you can refer it. And here I can see Java SE 16 is the latest version at the point of recording this video. You have to click JDK download button and scroll down a little bit, you will find your required packages. So in this list, we have Linux ARM, we have Linux 64 Debian, Mac OS packages, Windows packages also. So for now, we are interested in Linux Debian packages since Ubuntu is Debian based. So you simply click here and you have to accept the license agreement. Click on download button and this will start your downloading soon. Here. Now my download is complete. Now you can go to show in folder and you will find your package here. All right. So now you have two options. You can simply double click this package and it will open Ubuntu software and you will find a sweet install button. But I recommend you to install this using terminal. So I'm going to use my terminal to install this package. So I'm on my terminal. I just click on show terminal. And let's see what we have in this directory. So you can see JDK 16.0.2, perfect. Now command to install this package will be this dpkg. And don't worry, I will write all the required commands which I use in this video into the YouTube description box. After this, just write your JDK package. Hit enter. And since we run sudo, you have to give your sudo password here. So I will write my sudo password, hit enter again, and it will start installing your package. All right, so my prompt is back and this JDK package is installed. Perfect. So if you're excited, you can check your java version but you will find java not found and same goes for your java c this is the commands to check your versions and for both commands i got java and java c not found all right so now we will update our alternatives so that your ubuntu or your system start recognizing these commands so the command to update your alternatives requires sudo. Perfect. So write sudo update alternatives hyphen hyphen install and mention your path here user bin java. Then write java here. Then give the actual path of your java which will be in your user lib jvm and here you will find your jdk package which is jdk-16.0.2 and inside this you have bin directory and then java and at the last write one and hit enter so you see update alternatives return me using this to provide this in auto mode and we have to do the similar thing for Java C. 
so i can reuse my above command and instead of java i may shoot java c so let's make it java c here also java c and finally here also java c now hit enter now since you have java and java c as alternatives in your system you may now check your versions for java let's write java hyphen hyphen version and yes now my system is recognizing java and the version is 16.0.2 and that was the exactly package we installed and yes we can do that for java c also java c space hyphen hyphen version and I misspelled the version. Perfect. So Java C is also 16.0.2. So by now we have set up our Java and Java C commands for our system. So the final step here is to set up your Java home environment variable. And to set up that environment variable, we need where our Java is installed. Grab your path. We can run update alternatives with config flag. So the command will be sudo update alternatives hyphen hyphen config and we want for Java. So write Java and hit enter. So there is only one alternative which is this user live JVM. This is your path. And yeah, we just require that much path only. We don't have to go into bin and Java further. So now, yes, you can check your environment variable file, which will be forward slash etc environment. And when I hit enter, you will find this path. All right. Since we have the required path, now we can open the environment variable file, which is forward slash etc environment. And we have to add our Java home variable here only. So go ahead open this file using your gedit or any text editor so i will be using vim since i'm more comfortable with vim but if you want you can go ahead and use gedit also that's not a problem but just write sudo since it's an environment variable file you need sudo permissions so write sudo vim file path environment and hit enter Make sure you write in a new line. So I will hit O. So to write a new line. Now write the variable name, which is Java home and make sure it's all in capital put equals to and double quotes and inside double quotes paste the path you copied. And yes, now save this file and exit. Perfect. Now let's run the source command to refresh your environment variable file. So write source etc environment now you can run echo command to check your java home variable echo dollar sign java home and yes you got your path so that's all in this video we'll learn how to install and set up java on a linux system if this helped you give this video a like share with your friends and do subscribe to educators